Hallelujah. Praise God. Are there testimonies in the house? You are here, you have testimonies to share with us. Can I see your hand up? Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. Testimony time. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. Without wasting much of our time, I want us to jump our hands to get down to the Lord as we welcome the number one testifier for the day, Sister Oluchi Patrick. Sister Oluchi Patrick. Jump your hands together to the Lord as she comes. Is she around? Sister Oluchi Hi. Hi. Patrick. Clap your hands unto Jesus. Hush. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Divine Majesty, pray the Lord. Hallelujah. Is the blood working? On our own one day. On our own go go. The blood has done it again. Praise Master Jesus. It goes like this. Day before yesterday night, I was in the house when they are calling me downstairs. Mommy, come down. Mommy, come down. Somebody is not well. I said, ah, ah, what happened? Say, come down, come down, come down. Before I rush, come down. I see that there's one small boy, a boy of six years. This thing was, uh, so they are taking him to hospital. Then they, they divide him back. One of my son, pastor. They have to pray for him. They say, Mommy, what will you do? I say, Blood of Jesus Christ, rise and come do your work so that there will be a testimony to others who don't really know you. I now come to plead the blood and I give the woman the Udaki. I say, this is not Udaki, but blood of Jesus. Use it for this boy. You will receive healing right now. Everybody was looking at me. Both Muslims, there are plenty who follow the woman. As they apply it, the boy came back life. Praise Master Jesus. I want to give this testimony to the glory of God, to the shame of the devil. Because this woman happened to be and somebody that He's just struggling for his children. His husband live and run away. He's only one taking care of these children. And the devil wants to come and steal one out of it. But God Almighty, have, show her mercy. Today, she and her family, all of them, they are here. They say you want to follow me and serve that God I'm serving. The God that is protecting me and my children, let him protect she and her children also. I say, the God will do it. Praise Master Jesus. Is our God no good? It's good, mommy. Thank you. Jam your hands unto Jesus. He is a faithful God. I appreciate Jesus for that wonderful testimony. Let's put our hands together as we welcome the second testifier, Brother Tony Ize Gaebe from Ijede. Jam your hands together on the, to the Lord as he comes. Lord, praise Master Jesus. Uh, my, my testimony is not uh, much. I have many testimonies, but this one is very important for me. That is why I want to give the testimony. I thank God for the salvation of my soul and of, out of my family. And again, I thank God because I, as I'm working in divine majesty worship ministry. Since I have been working here, there is no sickness, there is no incident. Things is going well with us. And uh, 
the real testimony I want to give you is that last week on the 12th, it's my seventh year, that bad day. That is why I want to give you the testimony of it. Seventh year, oh. year birthday. And they say you came longer. Jam your hands on the Lord. He is not looking it at all. Seventh yes, year birthday. Can we stand to our feet? Praise God. Praise God. Seventh year birthday. And the man is you gain stronger. Join me and say, Oh Lord, my God. As I grow in life, I shall remain stronger. I shall remain stronger. I shall remain stronger. I shall remain stronger. As I continue growing, serving the Lord, I shall remain stronger. In the name of Jesus, my bones shall never be weak. My marrow shall never be weak. My body shall never be weak. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Take a seat in your hand as I declare over your life. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, every one of us are standing in your presence, connecting to the testimony of our brother. We demand, O oh God, that over our lives, as we grow in service with you, we shall serve you stronger and stronger. We shall serve you stronger and stronger. We shall serve you stronger and stronger. Our bones will never be weak. Our arteries will never be weak. Our marrows will never be weak. We will continue to serve, serve you in sound health. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name. What my father cannot do, he has done for me. Oh, hallelujah. He has done for me. He has done for me, oh, he has done for me. He has done for me, oh, he has done for me. Oh, my father can not do, oh, he has done for me. What no man can ever do for me, oh, he has done for me. Oh, 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 hallelujah, he has done for me. Sister Chinenye. Tinyere Madoka from Isolo should proceed for Thanksgiving. She's a Tinyere Madoka from Isolo. Praise the Lord. Please help me and thank God. I want to sing to him first for what he has done for me. Am I even Gabi Debido? Am I even Gabi Debido? I may be given a bit of which I was in a game. Nanya, the room on Gazichu, Nanya, as the Mongazichu, would have borrowed the name of my Jesus. I may be given a bit of Nobusamoki, Nobusamoki, Levi Majesty, Onya Gemano. I may be given a bit of praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Help me and thank God. God of divine majesty has done it again for me and my family. On Monday evening, my elder brother was coming to my house. On his way, he decided to cut his hair at one baby saloon. Immediately he enters the armed robbers enter the saloon and attacked him. He was carrying his bag and everything. They collected his phone, or everybody's phone. He was in front of them. They lied him flat, because he's the only man, the others were women. They lied him flat, they beat him up. After, much, after everything, they shot two people beside him. Instantly. And my brother was there, he was the only man. 
they couldn't shoot him. It was only two people that they shot, women. So, when he came back, he was shivering. They went out. They just jumped Okada and left. When he came, he was just, I'm telling you, he knocked at my door. He was shouting, chin, chin, chin. I thought that the fat house is born, you know. Not knowing, my brother was shivering. So when you see a man shedding tears, he said, they nearly killed me today. I said, God forbid. Thank God for the prayer I did last week. I prayed a lot of prayers for my family. My brother was shouting, he don't know what to do. The blood of those people were splashed over him. I was asking me, what do you, let me check all over, let me see if there's no, no injury upon him. They collected his 80,000 naira. I, tell, I, told, I told him, forget about that money. God used that money to redeem your life. And Stephen, maybe you are not paying title. He looked at me, somebody that was crying. I now thank God for everything. My brother has barely buried his wife three months ago. What could I have done if I heard the bad news that my, bro, my enemy shot? But before, I've been hearing news. She had pray for your brothers. Envyness is too much in my father's house. I don't know what we have done. If you progress, problem. If you are poor, wahala. These people that are fighting us are people we are helping, paying their school fees, paying their rent. They are fighting my brothers because they are making it. I don't know what I could have done. I don't know what I could have done. Help me and thank God of Divine Majesty. For He has done it again for me and my family. Praise the Lord. Jam your hands unto Jesus. None of us will lose anybody from now onwards. In the name of Jesus Christ. Untimely death is no longer our portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's welcome our sister, Dignes Chica Olua Vagutemeta. Jam your hands unto Jesus as she comes. Clap unto Jesus. Praise the Lord. I had a discussion with God and um, two Sundays ago he asked me to render one song for what he did for me. About that people will say Onye Jello Neema Oh Mama So no time to talk long story. When I finished that song, I felt a lifting in my spirit. But when I go home, he told me, you didn't finish that song, you will redo it. I said, yes, sir. And on Saturday night, I was supposed to have done it, but there was no time. Then yesterday, I sat down again. The first thing that he said is, my song, Kwan. So I'm here to do that song, to the glory of God, in the name Jesus Christ. Ia imerem chine ke na mi mela opo ya merem uji piani rugita e dera isaram boni la nyambora bu iwe koko ama pa we sinu mundo ezere Jesus le. Esiye wo mi take le no go imano gela e bi apara ihariye divine majesty mo esiye wo mi take le no go imano gela e bi apara ihariye the one that is upon the throne of Jaspa esiye wo mi take le no go imano gela e bi apara ihariye. Mamu kwere mano aki kuru gongo. Obi niwe chine keni mela ya nusoro kene chine omere mama ya nusoro kene chine ke omere mama ya nusoro kene chine ke omere mama ya nusoro kene chine ke. Oh, 
spiritual wickedness I was actually sitting alone early hours of this morning at my sitting room and I was pondering on one thing that happened around me one year ago exactly this time last year Praise God. On a Tuesday morning to Wednesday, Ash Wednesday last year, we were gathered at the ministry's international camp of father. Myself and some seers and some other ministers who were praying. We brought up a prayer point. Lord, whatever that will 
that have made us not to pick up the mantle that God has meant for us. To represent you fully. Let that thing be taken away from us. And we were passing dangerous decree that the person, whatever that is responsible, should be buried with immediate effect. We were praying it and many seers, I think some seers were here. That were witnesses that what happened, about what happened. We were praying such prayer and we were praying it with all seriousness. Just to, within 24 hours, it began to happen. The moment it started happening, it was not good to our flesh. But to God, it was for a reason. It was for a purpose. Praise God. And the purpose was not made known. This morning, I was pondering on the things that I have encountered within that year till now. I discovered that God has risen for whatsoever that he is doing in life, in our lives and our purposes. Freedom from spiritual wickedness. And as I was pondering, I was made to understand that I will stand before you. Hear me, child of God. The months have started running in this year, 2021. The things that will happen ahead of us, many of them are hidden from men, but they are led bare before God. One of the reasons why I am standing before you is to let you know that will, no matter whatever that will happen in this year 2021 and beyond, the Lord will present before you divine escape. It will be miraculous escape. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatsoever the enemy will fashion to stop you this year, the Lord will make a way of escape for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, in 1 John chapter 5, in verse 19, 1 John 5, 19, the Bible says, And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. The whole world lieth in wickedness. In Matthew chapter 16 from verse 18 to 19. Matthew 16 from verse 18 to 19. It reads, Jesus said unto Peter, he said, and I said also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Peter was one of the apostles. He began very well and on a good note with the Lord. But when a time of challenges came upon Peter, there came a time that he doesn't know where his mantle that was bestowed upon him was anymore. Peter's mantle was on the ground. What made him, made him a great apostle, he lost in the prison house. The Bible says that his hands were chained and his legs were chained. And there were three categories of group of soldiers that were sent to make sure that Peter did not regain his freedom. The Bible recorded in Acts of Apostles chapter 12, Acts chapter 12 from verse 5. Acts 12 from verse 5. And Peter therefore was kept in prison. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church. Let's start from verse 3. It's not only about Peter. The Bible says that they were against 
some groups of people that are serving God. Let's start from verse 2. Look at it clearly. And he killed James, the brother of John with his sword. James that was killed was not the only person that was apprehended. Many were seized. Many were locked. In verse 1. Verse 1. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex setting of the church. Not only James, not only Peter. Many people that are serving the Lord, they were apprehended by Herod the king. James gave his life for it. And it was about this season that these things were happening. Verse 3, 4, and 5. And the Bible said that because he saw that he pleased the Jews, he proceeded for that to take Peter also. Then we are the days of unliving bread. It's talking about the Lenten period. They were in serious persecution. Peter was kept in the prison. And the only thing that made Herod not have killed Peter immediately after executing James was that he said, let the Easter period be over so that he will execute Peter. Praise God. 4, 5, and 6. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quadrants of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Verse 5. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Verse 6 and 7. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night with Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains. And the keeper before the door kept the prison. Verse 7. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and the light shined in the prison. And he smote Peter on the side and raised him up. There are so many people that are gifted. God has given them the mantle to lead generations. But the enemy came against the vision of God over their lives. Many of them are now defending the spiritual prison. And when a strong man is kept in prison, whatever that makes him strong becomes useless. The moment Peter was kept in prison, he stopped preaching the gospel. The moment Peter was kept in the prison, the only means of communicating the gospel was through writing. Peter could no longer express the mandate of God over his life. The moment Peter was kept in prison, Peter was at the mercy of the enemy. He could not see anybody that he would want to see. Men and brethren, when we are talking about freedom, we are talking about the ability to do what you want to do and when you want to do it. When Peter was kept in prison, he lost every ability that is given to him by the Master Jesus. 
When Peter was kept in prison, his personal prayer was no longer able to save him. The church was now praying for someone that is praying for the church. When a minister of God, a servant of God is in the spiritual detention, he will be at the mercy of people that he has been praying for. It is better imagined than to experience. And for that reason we are standing. I observed something about Peter. That when it was a day before his execution will begin. Heaven decided to send heavenly entourage. Led by an angelic personality. The Bible says that when they entered into the house of detention. Peter could no longer recognize that the presence of God has entered. The Bible says that the light of God shined. The presence of God was there. But Peter could not recognize the presence of God. That is what he has been using to heal people. That is what he has been using to deliver people. When that, but when that same presence of God showed up, Peter was still sleeping because he was spiritually detained. I am standing to proclaim liberty over someone here. I might not be standing for everyone, but I know I am standing for someone that I've been spiritually detained. Whatever that I've kept you in spiritual detention, that I've taken away the mantle of God and kept it on the ground. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I declare you Lord. I declare you delivered. I declare you delivered. I declare you delivered. When a servant of God is spiritually detained, that servant of God will begin to live in his past glory because the mantle has been taken away from him. The Bible says that the angel came with the angelic host and smote Peter and said unto Peter, Wake up! We are here for a serious business. There are people that needed spiritual awakening so that the deliverance will be perfected. One thing is for you to come into the house of God. And another thing is for you to enter into the presence of God. The Bible says that the Lord is that spirit. And wherever the spirit of God is, there, there is freedom. There can't be any freedom anywhere outside the presence of God. The host of heaven came with the presence of God. But when they realized that Peter was not awake in the spirit, the Bible says that the angel smote Peter and said unto Peter, Wake up! Peter, wake up! Peter, wake up! I stretch out my hands of faith towards you. Anything in your father's house and around your life that have kept you in spiritual detention, that have not allowed you to experience the real presence of God, even when you come to the house of God, this day, such powers is withdrawn from you. Such powers are 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 withdrawn from you. Men and brethren, when you observe Peter carefully, Peter recorded that when the, he began a journey, when he began a journey with the angel, that the first thing that happened to him was that at the shouting of the angel, he just said, Peter, wake up. At the declaration of the angel, the Bible says that the chains over the hand of Peter fell off. The chains over the legs of Peter fell off. At every gathering of the children of God, there is always a voice for deliverance. There is always a voice for freedom. I am here under the grace of my father, Pastor Dr. Daniel, with the voice of liberation over a generation. The Bible says that there was a first door and a second door, and each door.
star was guarded with quadrants of soldiers. If star was guarded with the quadrants of soldiers, the last star the Bible described as a gate. But like a daligabosha, there is a gate that needed to open for you to experience your total freedom. Can I say something over you? Anybody that is sitting over your deliverance, Maleke Telegabosha, for me from the covers of wickedness to monitor you to make sure you are not delivered. Maleke Telegadalagata, Maleke Telegadia, their seat of authority is withdrawn from there. Their seat of authority is withdrawn from there. The angel said to Peter, Rise up and pick up your garment. Which garment is he talking about? The mantle that Jesus gave unto Peter in Matthew chapter 16 and verse 8 and 19. He says, Upon this very rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church of Christ. The Bible says that Peter picked up the mantle and wore it. Said, Take up your cloak also and also put it around your waist. It is time for you to begin a journey. You still have a purpose to fulfill in life. Any authority that have detained you and delayed you in destiny. From this morning, from this afternoon, receive your freedom. 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 Child of God. Whether you believe it or not, there are people that are sitting in authority that needed to be unseated so that God will perfect his works in your life. Am I talking to somebody? Anybody that needed to be unseated in authority so that you will experience the represence of God. This day, let them be unseated. 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 As of Apostles chapter 12, from verse 5 to 7. From verse 5 to 7. Therefore, Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Verse 6. And when Herod would have brought him forth, let's look at NIV version. NIV version. NIV version. The night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and sentries, stood guard at the entrance. Verse 7. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick! Get up, he said, and the chains fell off Peter's wrist. I pray for you today. That chain that refused that you will not get forward in life, that you will never cross certain level in life, that your business will not expand to a certain level in life. This day, whatever chain that they are using to tie you down, such chains are broken. 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 The prophetic order from the angelic host says, "Quick, wake up! Quick, wake 
up as many that have been detained unto death in your father's house. They are numbering the days when they will execute them unto death. But like I tell you, I join my faith, hiding my faith under the faith, in the faith of my father in the Lord. But like I tell you, that same God that have appointed him a messenger of liberation, we submit our faith with the faith of the angelic host that will release for this afternoon ministration. As many that have been detained unto death in your father's house, they are waiting to hear the news of their death. For those reasons, we are standing with the commander of the armies of heaven. From this moment, we welcome from death. Welcome from death. Wake up from evil sentence. Wake up from demonic sentence. Wake up from demonic sentence. Wake up from demonic sentence. Child of God. When what God begins a journey of liberation unto a generation, every ungodly power that sees the presence of God will run back. The Bible says something in Psalm 114 from verse 3. Abalakadali Gabosha. The sea that was supposed to be a barrier when he saw the presence of God coming. The Bible says that the sea level respected themselves on their own accord. When the angel shouted unto Peter, the powers that be respected themselves because the commander of the armies of heaven came into a business of liberation. Who is you that will speak a thing when the Lord has not commanded you? The Bible says that at the tail end of his final liberation, that a gate of bondage was before Peter. But when the angel came with the angelic cross, the Bible says that the gate opened on its own. Why is the gate opening? The Bible says in Psalm 24 from verse 7 and to 8, 10. Psalm 24 from verse 7 to 10. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be lifted up, ye ancient doors, that the King of glory may come. Verse 8 says, Verse 8, Who is this King of glory? Says the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Verse number 9. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, lift them up. Ye ancient doors. When he's talking about ancient doors, he's talking about doors that have stopped your fathers in their generation, doors that stopped your mothers in their generation. Whatever that stopped your mother and stopped your father, they are not qualified to stop you. 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 They succeeded in detaining other apostles. They succeeded in detaining other people in the church. But when it came to the case of Peter, when he was moving with the heavenly entourage, the Bible says that the gate respected itself and opened unto the mighty man in battle, the commander of the armies of heaven. I stand to prophesy over you that needed generational liberation. I stand before the gates of your generation to prophesy. Whatever that kept people at certain level in your father's house, that they will never grow above that level. Whatever that have made them to be at the mercy of the people that have money around them. Today, I command generational blessing upon your family. I command generational liberation unto your family. I command generational liberation unto your family. In the name of Jesus. Cornerstone 
the solid ground fair from the best rocks and stones child of God there are liberations that can never come to you via the hands of men or through the strong hand of God there are liberations that cannot come to you until you invite God's divine intervention. That is a battle that is beyond the hands of the flesh. You've prayed all manner of prayers. I pray for you today. That miracle and deliverance that will come via the right hand of Jehovah. I stand before the gates of your generation. Let Gate that have covered you from liberation be upon them, 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 be upon them. of Apostles chapter 12. No power of hell. No escape of 12-7. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shined in, in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick! Get up, he said. And the chains fell off Peter's wrists. Verse 8. And the angel said to him, Put on your clothes and sandals. Meaning those mantles that Jesus bestowed upon him, that they have taken away from him, he said, Put it up again. There is still many boundaries to conquer. I pray for someone today. Any power that stopped you at a spot, and from that spot you are seeing the promised land that you have not conquered, but they are not allowing you to step one foot. Order. I pray for you today. That chains of detention is falling out of your heart. It's falling out of your leg. It's falling out of your head. It's falling out of your leg. It's falling out of your head. It's falling out of your leg. It's falling out of your head. It's falling out of your leg. It's falling out of your head. It's falling out of your leg. It's falling out of your head. It's falling out of your leg. It's falling out of your head. It's falling out of your leg. It's falling out of your head. It's falling out of your head. The battle that came against Peter started with the master. In Matthew chapter 2, from verse number 2. And they asked, Where is the one who has been born? The king of Jews. We saw his star in the east and have come. Worship him. Verse 3. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. You can imagine the people that were jubilating when James was killed. Any authority, anyone, anywhere that wants to kill you and kill your vision on earth, but like a delicate, they shall not succeed. 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 Verse three to six. When he has called together all the people, chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Christ was to be born. Verse 5. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. Anyone that is privileged to decode what God has said, he will use you to accomplish in life. And in a, it's in a battle to stop you by all means possible. Before three days from today, they shall be buried. They shall be buried. They shall 
happy birthday. If anybody tell Peter that there will be a time he will no longer stand before the congregation and say receive it, he will not believe it. He has so much anointing to display. But when they succeeded in detaining him spiritually, his anointing stopped speaking. Many people that started well are struggling in the place of fulfilling their destiny today. And they've been asking so many questions. Where is what is happening to us coming from? Every enemy of God's yes in your life, they don't want to see you testify. They don't want to see you manifest. At one time, they say, Can a good thing come out of Nazareth? But the Bible declared that the first shall be the last. Anyone that has been sitting, reigning in your father's house, demonically, this season, within 40 days from today, they shall all be unseated. 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 You've been fighting hard to install God's genuine altar in your father's house. But it looks as if there are powers that be that have been resisting you from accomplishing that. After this moment, anybody that needed to die, I don't care who the personality might be. I told you I prayed such prayer one year ago today. And from that moment till now, I can see what God is doing gradually around me. I pray for you today. Any authority that needed to be unseated, whether they are coming from the world, let them be unseated. 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 Every demonic vow from any kingdom that says will not become what God says you will be. Let them be unseated. Let them be unseated. The Bible says in Nahum chapter 2, Nahum chapter 2 and verse number 6. Nahum chapter 2. He said the river gates are thrown open and the palace collapses. The river gates are thrown open and the palace collapses. Every coronation that are taking place in your life, every ordinance that is supervised over your life from the marine world that kept you in bondage because their palace is collapsing, I demand over your life that every strong man, strong personalities, strong principalities from those kingdoms that is watching over your captivity, today they are unseated. 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 In a man we onward. Can we celebrate God for a moment? Even more anymore. Okay, more than Ah. Oh, <laughs> 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 
the judges that was bribed to execute Peter, they have laid down their judgment. The people that will hang him and persecute him, they were ready for the next day's action. But when the host of heaven rose up from this, where they are seated, but like I tell you, the Bible says that the people were armed, were as fast as labor, with their weapons of battle. I pray for you today, whatever that makes the enemy around your life strong, as God will be taking them on our way this afternoon, they shall be displaced. They shall be disgraced. They shall be disgraced. They shall be disgraced. They shall be disgraced. For I'm the one that you have shown mercy. The people that knew that the next day that Peter will be executed have seen James executed and they celebrated the death of James. People of darkness have started celebrating ahead of time the death of Peter. But heaven said, you have many boundaries to stay conquer. Any power that wants to take you, in order to stop you from conquering your remaining boundaries, this day, the Lord is stopping them before they stop you. The Lord is stopping them before they stop you. The Lord is stopping them before they stop you. The Lord is stopping them before they stop you. In the name of Jesus. Nothing stops them from rioting. But they were still imagining how did this man escape. Deliverance that will put your enemies in perpetual confusion. That they will not realize themselves until you fulfill purpose in life. That deliverance is taking place in your life. That deliverance is taking place in your life. That deliverance is taking place in your life. Hear me, child of God. There are people around you that, that, are, that, that, that are still consulting powers to know how God started with you. Because what they have started seeing around you is beyond what they have in mind. Can I say something to you? The Bible says in Galatians chapter 5 and verse number 13, deliverance you are receiving today will take you a longer time. I said, my you, my brothers, we are called to be free. But do not use your freedom to indulge the sinful nature. Rather, serve one and not die alone. Let's look at it from uh, look at it from King James Version. King James Version. For brethren, we have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love save one another i pray for you today the deliverance you are receiving today but let it tell you that that deliverance will no longer be corrupted it 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 will no longer be corrupted he no says shall the free be taken from the mighty Isaiah 49 and verse 24. Isaiah 49 and verse 24. You have shown the mercy. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Or the lawful captive delivered? Verse 25. 25. But thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee, and I will save thy children. I'm talking about generational liberation that is not stopping at you. It will go through you, to your children and your children's children. People that cannot stop you cannot stop your children. Am I talking to somebody here? If they cannot stop you, they can't stop your children. They can't stop your children's children. The family of Rebecca prayed for Rebecca and said, In Genesis chapter 24 and verse number 60. Genesis 24 and verse number 60. And they blessed Rebecca and said unto her, Thou art 
our sister be thou the mother of thousands of millions and let thy seed possess the gate of those that hate them i pray for you today it shall be generational liberation. It shall be generational liberation. It shall be generational liberation. In the name of Jesus. We have heard that surely they must gather. Surely they must gather. In Isaiah chapter 54, starting from verse 15. Isaiah 54, verse 15. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. But let me tell you, God, from 2021 and beyond, anyone that is not happy with what God will begin to do in your life from today, but let me tell you, God, they shall be registered in their generation. Generational folly. Generational folly. Generational folly. Generational folly. Generational folly. Generational folly. This is generational folly. Generational folly. If they are known by diabolical powers, about like Catholic about Salagada, like Catholic Gada, the disgrace that will come over their generation will be generational disgrace. It will be generational disgrace. Maybe the bondage you are into is as a result of judgment of causes. Judgment of causes. No matter where the declaration is coming from, the Bible says in Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 15, Zephaniah 3 15, Zephaniah 3 15, the Lord has taken away thy judgments, He has cast out thy enemy. The king of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil anymore. The evil you suffered as a result of demonic judgment or declaration judgment over your life and over your generation is ending today. That judgment is ending today. That judgment is taken today. Is taken away 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 today. It is for freedom that Christ has called you to be free. Therefore, I stand on that platform to declare over you every kingdom that is responsible for your captivity. It is written in Haggai chapter 2 and verse number 22. I will overthrow the thrones of kingdoms, that even the strength of the kingdoms of the hidden shall be overthrown, that their chariots and their riders will go down by the sword of each other. I pray for you today. Any kingdom that needed to be overthrown, for your total freedom to emerge. Let them be overthrown. Let them be overthrown. They are 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 overthrown. Master, be back for the water so. My soul longs for you forever and ever. Yes, this heart beats, and as the deep and my water, so my soul longs for you forever and ever. Yes, hey, it's an abomination for someone that is occultic. To stand before you and ask you, where is now your God? The Bible says in Psalm 79 and verse number 10. Where 
Wherefore should the heathen say, Where is the God? But let me tell you, I pray for you today. Anyone that have challenged your God through you before now, but let me tell you that this season shall be unto them as a season of disgrace. As a season of disgrace. As a season of judgment. As a season of frustration. As a season of death. Every market arena that is represented here. Whatever that made himself, whoever that have made himself a God unto such business arena. Every business arena that is represented here. Starting from this moment, they are overthrown with their powers. They are overthrown with their powers. Where must you the heat and say, Where is your God? From today, elevation that they cannot find tune how it all started from and where it is coming from is coming your way. It's 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 coming your way. Each time I look at Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 17, where the Bible says that upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. He said another thing and said, and the people of God shall begin to possess their possession. Meaning that there are there are certain deliverances that needed to take place before you begin to recover what you have lost. That deliverance, I stretch out my hands of faith towards you. Because you are on the mountain of the Lord, seeking for deliverance this day. That deliverance that you needed to take place in your life, so that your destiny purpose will locate you. Let that deliverance take place now. Let it 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 take place now. I stretch out my hands of faith towards you to declare, raise a seed in your hand. Lift up your seed. Father, the seeds in your hands, the seed of total freedom, and by the reason of this seed in our hands, our enemies shall remain perpetually under our foot. We shall begin to rule over our enemies. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. Galatians 5 13 says, For brethren, you have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. If you are not living holy, God has no business with you. Remain connected to the Lord in holiness, and He will perfect your liberation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Elijah said, unto Obdiah, go and tell Ahab that Elijah is here. Jump your hands together unto the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are you blessed? Your blessing shall no man take from you. I have a good news. The good news is that 
God has added to his church. Therefore, I call on the family of Ikechuku uh, Godwin when you to come for the dedication of the child, the choir. Ikechuku Godwin when you come forward for the dedication of your child. May I never know you will favor me this way. Favor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. I never knew you will give me strength. You will bless my life. You will lift me up. I never knew you will favor me this way. Favor me this way. Thank you. I never knew. I never knew you will favor me this way. I never knew. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Every woman that traveled this road, we have one thing or the other to say. My sister, do you have anything to say? Okay, we we'll make it brief. Praise God. Hallelujah. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Severe. I'm here to thank God for his goodness upon my life. I've been coming to this um, place for some time now. And let me just call the long story short. Okay, do. My second daughter... She started, she woke up one morning and said, I don't really know what she said, but my spirit just said, take her to the, where you go for mountain so that they will pray for her. Immediately, I told my husband that I'm taking this child for, uh, to mountain to pray with her so that I don't know what the enemy is trying to do. Now it's knowing that the prayers was not even for the child, but for me. So when we got to this place that very day, I was asked to go uh, to, to the seers. So I went to the seers. And the first person, I don't know the sister, but I know her name was um, Chioma. So she looked at me and said that the Lord wants to remember me. I looked at her. Inside my heart, I said, well, nobody that will see a woman that is carrying three girls that will not say that the Lord wants to remember her. That was what I just said in my heart. She looked at me and said, she said, I know you are doubting. You have sowed a powerful seed, but you kept having girls. That even this, your last daughter standing here with you, that you sowed a seed, you wept, you prayed, but she still came out and she's a girl. When she said that, and I shook my head, she said, God said he wants to give you a baby boy. If it's my pastor, he said, M -m -m -m. 
I just said amen, amen. in my heart because in fact I'm tired. When she said that, in, she said the Lord wants to remember you. I just put my head down. I was just trying to hear her last distance so that I would step out. So she said, you are going to have this baby through CS. When she said CS, it was done on me that it's the spirit of God that was speaking, not her. So I, when, I, I just put down my head. Tears rolled down. I said that I have gone through four years. That I've gone through four years. She said, what, what, where, where is the, third, uh, the fourth one? I said, the boy among them died after two weeks of delivery. And she shook her head and she said that the Lord said he is going to see me true. That I shouldn't worry that he is giving me a baby. But I said, true CS again. She said, yes. Making the fifth CS. I said, it's only God that can help me go through this. As for me, I cannot. But when I finished the prayers, one man said, what kind of plan have you not planned? Yet you were having baby girls. It's like you are going to do it your own way. I said, okay, let me do it my way. Praise the Lord. But the way, my way was not the way of God. I planned it my way. I went for IVF and all of that. The IVF man said, since you have undergone four um, CS, you can never go for the fifth one. It's very dangerous. I said, no, I want to go for selection. This time around, it must be selection. That I must go for it. That the money is not the problem. He said, no, madam, that you will bleed to death. When he said that, I said, is there no other way out? He said, except through surrogates. That is the only way I can go through this procedure and have a son. So when I got home, by the grace of God, I fear God and I respect him so much. I knelt down and I said, how can I do this? How can a woman be a mother, be the carrier of my child? While I knew before my man of God, I knew before the altar of God to pray for the pregnancy. That this is error. It's not the will of God for my life. And I prayed. I said, God, help me. Go help me. I don't know what to do. And on that very faithful day, I met with my husband. I told God that last year when we entered 2020, I said, God, give me a gift. I want to give to my husband. I have forgotten the prophecy. I said, God, give me a gift. That I don't want to buy anything for my husband in this 2020 for as a birthday. That the gift I want to give him is a baby boy. That is the only gift I want to give him. Give me a baby boy that I will give my husband in this year 2020. I know it's not disturbing me over having girls or not, but I want him to be happy. And we met. That time we met, I said, ah, it's not yet time. But before I could know it, my body began to change. I said, eh, no planning. My body began to change. I was so confused. I said, how am I going to do this? This terrible mistake again. How am I going to do it? Low and below, I went for scan. They said, a baby boy. I said to him, who has, who has done this for me? I have lost hope. See, the day of the surgery, hear me. Having gone through four years, and that, this one is the fifth years, I was praying God help me go through this journey. I can't go in this journey alone. Even doctor has given up. He said, the only place I can give birth to if I paraventure get pregnant, that the only place I can give birth, because the child before this one, I gave birth to her in U.S. He said, I should return back to that U.S. to give birth to this. If I plan to have any child, that I want to bring forth the child myself, that I should go to, I should travel out. Or the only other place is loot 
in Nigeria. That's the only two places he can recommend for me to go. But can you imagine this pregnancy, the delivery? I gave birth to this baby boy at Coca. If everyone, everyone knows where Coca is, Coca Bridge, and that is Glory Hospital. That was where the surgery of this boy took place. I, the, the, the day the surgery was on, the doctor said, how many? I said, this is the fifth one. I said, eh? Fifth one, madam. He said, yeah. He said, not be small journey, be this one, no. I said, the Lord will put us through. My men and brethren, the day, the time he just opened, he said, what a mighty God. He said, my body is as sweet as if they have tied the whole road. That everywhere, he was just praising God. He was just quoting, he said, what a God, my dear. What kind of God? I said, I serve a living God. Hello to Tosayaruo. Hello to Tosayaruo. Men and brethren, the surgery was one of my best surgeries I had. It was so safe. Even when I was telling my doctor, bleeding, bleeding, they said I will have bleeding on this one. Men and brethren, there was no drop of a blood. It was a huge success. The next minute I'm sitting up, the next minute I'm standing. Everybody was saying, Madam, you are too strong. I say, It is the Lord's doing. I come this day, who has brought this prophecy? And this prophet, he, he, he gave me this prophecy, and by his divineness, he brought it to pass through this ministry. I say, the Lord who has done this, may his name and name hey! the Lord, you can stand up and tap, and as you do, God will see you through in the name of Jesus. Put your hand together as we welcome the head pastor to the microphone. Put your hand together for Jesus as we welcome him. Ah, hallelujah. Father, we thank you for all that you have done that which you are doing and we continue to do. We say our glory be ascribed unto your name. In Jesus' name. Just to continue steering up the word of God. Where this is a revelation of one. Revelation chapter 3 verse 8. Revelation 3 8. He said, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word. I have not known my name. This word came on Saturday night. 
Praise God. When we did our warfare, but one of the things I want you to see there, in that verse, it said, I know thy works. There are people open doors we are made, and there are people that might struggle to get the open doors. But if you really want to experience open doors, and continue experiencing open doors, look at what he said, I know thy works. So, which means, most of the time, the open door is not for everybody. What are thy works in his house? What are thy works? What are you doing to project the body of Christ? To lift up the name of Jesus? Are you a gatherer or a scatterer? He said, I know that works. Whatever you do, both in the secret and in the open, he understands it. When, after the jail, I begin to have an insight, deeper insight for that. Look at the next sentence. He said, I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it. When thy works are sound, straightforward, true, genuine, open door that God will set before you, no power, no force, no gain, no creature can shut it. So I want to appeal to you this afternoon. Let your works with Jesus stand right, be pure. Because he's about to launch us into the realm of surplus. Praise God. I am not saying it to entice you or to make your hearts happy. I'm saying what God is about to do. Let your works be straight so that when God opened the door, it will no more be shut again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can we stand on our feet? Thank you, Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. Have mercy upon me. Let my heart be circumcised. Let my heart be purified. Let my heart, my spirit, my soul be cleansed in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray that prayers. Open your mouth and pray that prayers. Open your mouth and pray that prayers. Father, cleanse our heart, cleanse our spirit. Cleanse our soul in the mighty name of Jesus. In any form, in any way, we have gone astray. We are not meeting up. In any form, in any way, we are not meeting up. Lord, show me. Lord, forgive us. 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 Lord, purify us in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I have no strength and power of my own. I have no strength and power of my own. Lord, Lord, this open door, this open door, let it not pass me by. Let it not pass me by. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. My God, pass me not, oh Jesus, Savior. Jesus. 
Jesus, hear my humble cry, Lord, when you are opening every door to your people, Lord, do not pass me by. Can we sing that song as well? Lifting our hearts to Him. Can we commit to Him? In to say, Jesus, hear my humble cry. Why, oh no, thou art called. Oh, Jesus. As a result of your good works, nobody can shut it. Unless you are the one that will shut it. But this afternoon, so that you will enjoy the open door. I will anoint you. I will allow God to use me to anoint you. And as I'm doing it, I am not the one in the spirit anointing you. See Jesus as the one that anointing you. See the Holy Spirit as the one that anointing you. When he anoints you, the Bible says, Touch not my anointing. Touch not. If I say, This is mine. Are you there? It's different. It's different from when I said, This is the. The anointed is different from mine. Psalm 105, verse 15. Do not use D. Look at what he used. Touch not mine. 
anointing. He didn't use touch not the anointing. And he went again and said, Do my prophets know her? Thank you, Jesus. Do not allow me. Remind God and tell God, I am yours. I have given my life to you, Jesus. I am yours. Even if you have not anointed me, anoint me for the purpose of this open door. Cry unto him. Say, God, locate me and anoint me. I am yours. I cannot do it on my own. Heart. Except you take over, we cannot know you as you are. You are. Except you take you over, we cannot know you as you are. Spirit, take over. I cannot walk in all your love. Except you take over. There is a I am yours. I am yours. Till the day that you will come, here. Jesus. I am yours. Ah. I am yours. Holy Ghost. I am yours. Till the day that you will come, Jesus. I am yours. Say in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, Divine Majesty, I am yours. I am yours. You are my Father. You are my Father. I am your Son. I am your Son. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My Master. My Master. My Lord. My Redeemer. My Redeemer. My Shepherd. My Shepherd. You are my father. You are my father. You are my lord. You are my lord. You are my savior. You are my savior. I am yours. I am yours. I'll make room for you. You are Lord Jesus. Ah, you are all that matters. Hey. You are all that matters. Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Without you. I can do nothing. You are my greatest teacher. You are my lover. You are my strength. You are my life. You are my health. You are everything to me. You are everything. I am yours. I am yours. You are all the matters. Anoint me afresh so that this door will remain open. This door of glory, this door of honor, this door, this door of signs and wonders, this door, this door of healing, this door of deliverance, this door of prosperity, this door of connection, this door of contact. This door of life. This door of, life. This door of, this door of fruitfulness. This door of fruitfulness. This door of happiness. This door of happiness. This door of joyfulness. This door of joyfulness. This door of mercy. This door of mercy. This door of grace. This door of grace. This door of kindness. This door of kindness. This door of love. This door of love shall remain open. Shall remain open. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Anoint me. Anoint me. Because when you anoint me. Because when you anoint me. Anything my door, anything that concerns my door cannot be closed. Therefore, anoint me for my door to remain open. Door of greatness, door of dominion, 
door of faith, door of faith, door of miracle, door of wealth, door of wealth, door of connection, door of connection, door of contact, door of mystery, door of mystery, door of prophecy, door of prophecy, door of vision, door of vision, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Anoint me now. Holy Ghost. Anoint me now. Abba Father. Anoint me. For I am yours. Begin to pray in tongues. You are the God who opened the stone and can show you. You are not a man. You are the God who opened us, no man Begin to ask for him, request from him. He said, My anointed, let him anoint you by himself. So he remember mine. My anoint, touch not my anointed. And do my prophet know how. Naked should be regular. Should be a race. Balagata should be a regular. You are called. Light to shine from darkness. Holy Ghost, you are brooding. You are brooding over every dark. You are casting, oh, oh. You are casting. Light to shine from darkness. Holy Ghost, you are brooding over every dark. You are casting. You are causing light to shine from Light to bring forth my 
Lord, you are causing all light to shine from darkness. Oh, it was you are. You are proving over. Begin to speak in tongues. Begin to speak in tongues. You are causing light to shine from darkness. You are proving. As a result of this, let the door be open perpetually unto us. The door of greatness, the door of protection, the door of life. Balaka could the Kuria Rege Seke de Gedea, who put the Katakulu put to Shuria Regedea, Balaka Taka Shuria Rege de Gedea. 
Lokoto shoot their rig there. The door of wealth. The door of wealth. The door of riches. The door of glory. The door of power. The door of authority. The door of dominion. Because we are Jesus' own. We are his own. We are his own. We are his own. All creatures hear this. You wicked creatures. You powers of darkness. Touch not God's anointed. Touch not God's anointed. Touch not Jesus' anointed. Touch not Jesus' anointed. Touch not the Holy Ghost anointed. We are his anointed. We are his anointed. We are his anointed. We are his anointed. Have your way. New anointing. New glory. New power. New grace. Satan of King Jesus. Yes, Lord. Sweet spirit of God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Sweet spirit of God. Yes, a new door. A new open door. A new open door. That cannot be shut again. That cannot be shut again. Open door for the church. Open door for you. Open door for your family. A new open door. A new open door. A new open door. Numerical open door. Life open door. Prosperity open door. Healing open door. Deliverance open door. Joy open door. Balaka Tashwari Regede. Balaka Tashu Regede. Yes, it's coming on to you. Look at the open door. 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 Jesus open it. And it cannot be shut again. Jesus open it. And it cannot be shut again. Jesus open it. Let it fall on us. Father, we are in your presence. Let it rain. Oh, ah. Let it fall on me, Jesus. Open the floodgates. Ah. We are born. And touch the earth. To fall on me. Oh, move the floodgates. In abundance. In abundance. anointing of boldness anointing of boldness is coming on you anointing of boldness lekete shudia re zende ya lekete shudia re gedia boldness 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 balaka tashu de re gedia shudia re sekelu koto shudia re la ha father By your grace and mercy, usher in all of us. To our open door. 
Now open door. Let us be ushered in now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That this my door of this and that that is open cannot be shut again because it is Jesus that opened the door. The door he opened cannot be shut. And the door that is shut cannot be open. Open your mouth and begin to make declarations. Yes. Make declarations. Make declarations. Make declarations. of Nazareth. Let it be shut permanently. <laughs> Every evil door my master, Savior, Lord Jesus let it be perpetually be shut closed. <laughs> Every door of death be closed forever. <laughs> Every door of poverty be closed forever. <laughs> Be closed forever. Amen. Every door of unfruitfulness, barrenness, be closed forever. Amen. Every door of darkness, before, be closed forever. Amen. Every door of affliction, sickness, and disease, be closed forever. of wickedness and every eyes of wickedness let that door be closed forever Amen. let it be closed forever Amen. let it be closed forever Amen. the door of judgment and accusation the door of Trances and negativity. Let it be closed forever. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every door of nightmare. Every door of confusion. Every door of operation, every door of heart attack, 
in the name of Jesus, let it be closed forever. 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 In the name of Jesus. No masquerade no harassment. No spiritual husband and wife harassment. No of this happening and sorrow. No of pain and any form of perpetual evil. Let it be closed perpetually. Let it not be closed perpetually. Let it not be closed perpetually. Let the doors be closed perpetually. Let the doors be closed perpetually. In the name of Jesus. Your door of goodness and mercy is have I open. Is have I open. Door of contract is here by open. Door of connection is here by open. No of fruitfulness is here by open. No of marriages is here by open. No of academic excellence is here by open. No of divine health is here by open. No of long life is here by open. No of sound health is here by open. No of prophecy is here by open. No of vision and revelation is here by open. No of excellent dreams is here by open. No of abundance is here by open. No of peace and joy and happiness is here by open. It's open. It's open. It's open. It's open. No of praise and worship is here by open. No of holiness and righteousness is here by open. Fruit is half by open. No power is open. No of victory is perpetually open. No of authority is perpetually open. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because we are God's own. Therefore, any form of wickedness must not touch us again. We are highly anointed by Christ Himself, by Jesus Himself, by the Holy Ghost Himself, by our Father in heaven. We are anointed. Give us music. <laughs> 